So we're down at the eastern end of the XL Centre and uh, joining the Stop the Arms Fair camp today are a large contingent from Veterans Peace. As former members of the armed forces, we are conducting a vehicle checkpoint to search vehicles entering the XL Centre for weapons that contravene the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons, landmines, booby traps, incendiary weapons, etc., etc., and the Convention on Cluster Munitions. So hopefully we can get the lorry drivers to stop and, and actually show us the manifest. And if, if the lorry drivers want to, they can open the lorries and we can do a, a, okay. a physical check. Someone asked me on the live stream, uh, what is Veterans for Peace? So Veterans for Peace are uh, all ex um, serving from the Army, Navy, Air Force, from, from the Second World War up until the current day. So yeah. we're all ex servicemen, all uh, come to the conclusion that the uh, the, the war is not the answer to the, it's not the solution to the problems of the 21st century. Yep. Uh, so we're here to highlight, uh, we, we want to end militarism, so things like cadet forces in schools, so we'll go into schools and give the alternative view, so get, get, you know, some of these lads have been in Afghanistan and I'll give the alternative narrative uh, than what the military are giving, so yep. uh, we often hear the government saying, oh, we need the military ethos in schools and this kind of thing, so, you know, that's not the way that we want society. Uh, so all these guys have all fought in wars, they all know what it's like, they all know the reality of the war, and we all know that it's a racket. What's your message to existing servicemen or people that have left, yeah, uh, sure. people that may be mindful of, uh, of the principles you stand for? Yeah, I mean, our, our main um, function is to increase public awareness of the cost of war. Mm -hmm. we, we think it's important that the public should understand what war is really about, yep. the true costs, the human costs, environmental costs. And so that's part of our key work, is to increase public awareness, but also is to um, restrict our government from intervening in the internal affairs of other nations. But we've got a truck coming. Absolutely. So, we're just going to sort of... okay, so... so work there, word there from uh, Ben Griffin, who was formerly in the Parachute Regiment and the SAS. Um, he's a UK founder or a leading figure in the UK of Veterans for Peace. And what we see here is a paramilitary checkpoint. We're seeing a vehicle that has been pulled over. We're seeing Veterans for Peace people ex-servicemen and they're going to conduct a, uh, a checkpoint. There are reasonable grounds for suspecting that such weapons are being transported into the XL Centre today. As former members of the armed forces, we are conducting a vehicle checkpoint to search vehicles entering into the XL Centre for weapons that contravene the conventional certain conventional weapons, landmines, booby traps, incendiary weapons and blind laser weapons and the conventional cluster munitions. And we're asking you as officers of the law to help us in this search. That is a greater crime to, to transport those weapons that are a convention of the United Kingdom treaties than, than obstructing this highway. We're quite willing to, co uh, to cooperate, but we think it's very important as former members of the armed forces that those weapons that not only hurt and, and kill um, people in Afghanistan and Iraq, but also have injured our own soldiers, that those things should not be allowed to pass into the Excel Centre for sale. Right, so you're here to conduct your protest, that's all right. We're not a protest, okay. not a protest. We are here to facilitate you conducting your protest. That is where our line stops, okay? At the moment, I'm trying to keep this highway clear, which is what I'm able to do, okay? I also, my primary concern though is the safety of all the sure. individuals around here. Yep.